I hope you enjoyed today's video. 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 <laughs> I know that you miss me as much as I missed you. So, honey, if you make sure that you like, comment, share, and if you're not yet subscribed, you better subscribe. You better subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassandra. I hope you like this video and I hope you do subscribe so that you become part of the family. And yeah, just share good vibes with us over here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so grateful for your love and your support. So guys, I am back. I know I've said this before, but now I'm back, 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 back. My life is finally in order again <laughs> i hope my life was not in order um for some time but my life is finally in order again so i am back i am back and this time i am back as not only a wife but as a mother not only a wife but also a mother do you see how good god is do you see how good god is i'm a mother guys i'm a mother I know that the last video I shared with you guys, we were sharing how we were expecting a baby. Baby is here. <laughs> Cassandra is a mother. Cassandra is a mother. Cassandra is a mother. Cassandra is one day my daughter will be watching these videos. I wanted to see how happy I am to be her mother. <laughs> Anyways, guys, baby girl is here baby girl is here we have our baby girl here she arrived on the 28th of march so she is close to three months now so yeah she arrived on the 28th of march and we are parents to an amazing most precious little girl we are so we are just filled with so much joy honestly we are filled with so much joy so much gratitude to god I'm just happy i'm so happy god thank you so in today's video i'm going to be giving a, you guys a life update so the way i'm going to do this is by answering some questions that you guys asked me on my instagram so if you are not following me on instagram already i'll leave it down here for you to follow make sure you follow me on my instagram so that you can also ask me the questions for me to answer okay <laughs> yeah so i have the questions written down here for you guys and i'm going to be answering them for you now so let's get into this video before this girl wakes up and wants to eat from her mommy so yeah the first question is what's your baby's name so our baby girl's name is liana amari so because we're christians it was very important for us to find christian names so we found Liana, which means God has answered, and then we found Amari, which means promised by God. And these names, honestly, are so perfect for a little girl. They just, they suit her like she's, God answered. <laughs> God answered. Yeah, so the next question is, were you anxious about childbirth? Mm, was I anxious about childbirth? No, not really. Um, as a first time mom, I think I wasn't as anxious as other mummies would be. I think the reason being is because at some point, guys, I was very much convicted to study midwifery. I was so invested that I spent months on end visiting hospitals, doing my research because it's a field that I really wanted to go into. So throughout that process, I ended up learning and picking up so much about childbirth, so much about pregnancy, so much about children, and I really, really, really learned a lot. So yeah, I think having that basic knowledge helped me to not be anxious about it um throughout my pregnancy yeah, it would pop into my mind here and there but i wasn't anxious like i wasn't anxious i won't lie so yeah the next question is what has made your journey to motherhood smoother um definitely the people that are in our lives my mother my 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 sister my siblings my husband's siblings my mother-in-law my father-in-law honestly they have made this journey of motherhood smoother um i i 
I'm so grateful to God for them. I couldn't have done pregnancy without them. Um, I couldn't, I can't manage motherhood without them, honestly. I'm so, so grateful for them. Um, I'll give an example of my mother-in-law. Um, when I was in my first trimester, I got really, really sick, you guys. I was in the hospital for, I think, two, two nights. Um, yeah, and um, I couldn't cook, I couldn't do anything for myself, I could barely eat any meal. My mother-in-law would come to our home and cook food and make sure I eat you guys and make sure that I'm okay. My father-in-law will, will go above and beyond to get me something that I needed, <laughs> you know. So I'm just grateful to, to God um, for the people that um, surround me and my baby. And honestly, they have made this whole journey of, they made the whole journey of pregnancy much, much easier. And they made the whole journey of motherhood much, much easier as well. So I'm really grateful to God. They, yeah, they, they, they outdid themselves. They outdid themselves. And also another thing is, another example I can give is my mother. Um, when I had my baby, my mother and my grandma came to live with us for a month and so i had extra hands i was not doing everything on my own they would literally take the baby from me so that i could sleep you know so all that makes the journey of motherhood easier i can only imagine um if you're a mother out there who's having to do everything on your own not because you wish to because of circumstances i am um, really give it up to you motherhood is not easy and um you are really strong and keep being a good mother to your child um yeah so next question is oh this one's not a question it says i love you and i love your mini family it is gorgeous oh thank you so much thank you thank you thank you um the next question is how was your delivery experience so guys, in a nutshell, my delivery experience was very much a miracle. Um, it was not what I thought it would be, but I am grateful to God that at the end of the day, I walked out of that hospital with my baby healthy, perfectly healthy. I walked out of that hospital also healthy and alive and yeah, able to walk on my two feet. I'm really grateful to God. So in a nutshell, that's how my delivery experience was. I won't be getting into it like really deep because I plan on filming a whole separate video for you guys, um, sharing my whole delivery experience, not leaving out any detail with my husband because he was there 24-7 and a lot happened, a lot, a lot happened. And um, I think it's important for us to share with you guys as first time as a first-time mom and dad to share our experience with you guys in detail so stay tuned for that video it is coming really really soon and i think you guys will enjoy it <laughs> you enjoy it <laughs> so the next question is how are you balancing work school and your home so right now i'm on maternity leave um so work is not um, in the picture so that means I have more time for my baby and also I took a, a semester off so I am off school right now um, I will be reporting back to school next semester though so um, that means that I've, I've been able to focus more on my daughter right now because um, school is cut out and work is cut out at the moment and then how have I been managing my home honestly it's been okay I have had help here and there but um, I've been able to still manage my home on my own with my little baby. Most of the time, she's sleeping. Like right now, she's like right on that chair at the back, <laughs> sleeping. So makes motherhood a bit much easier and um, helps me manage a few things here and there. Um, I can't really give you guys a full picture of what motherhood and um, work and school will look like um, until I am in that zone again like right now as I have said I'm focusing on my baby I'm on maternity leave and I took a semester of school so that's what's happening the next question is how have you found being a mommy so far let me tell you I love being a mother <laughs> I love 
being a mother i am so in love with my daughter she is my happiness guys i kid you not at night i will wake up from my sleep and start admiring my daughter instead of resting because she's letting she's giving me a chance to sleep because she's sleeping i will wake up and start admiring her what's that like how I don't understand how you can fall so much in love with someone who can barely speak or someone who doesn't do anything for you but just exist <laughs> that's how precious motherhood has been so i love it i am loving motherhood so far if you know me you know i love kids you know i've always wanted to be a mother so for me this is a dream come true it's a dream come true so yeah motherhood is beautiful i enjoy my my journey i love being a mommy to my precious little girl so yeah <laughs> next question is how are you handling crying at night um oof, guys i won't lie to you newborns when babies are born their only way of communicating because everything is new to them as well their only way of communicating guys is crying they will just cry newborns cry lucky for you if you had a newborn who would you know be quiet throughout the night my baby okay my baby wouldn't really like cry 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 she just wouldn't sleep you can hear her at the back <laughs> my baby just wouldn't sleep she was just a baby that just wouldn't sleep but thank god we are out of that phase she's doing much better now at night she doesn't really cry at night honestly she sleeps through the night now i can't complain honestly she's doing an amazing job an amazing amazing job and if you guys can hear at the back i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm a mother now <laughs> content creator slash mother mother in fact first <laughs> Yeah, so the next question is, are you going to stay consistent now that you're back? Girl, I am here to be consistent. I am a consistent queen. Call me Cassandra the consistent YouTuber now. <laughs> I am back, guys. I am back and I'm going to stay committed to YouTube this time. It's something that I really enjoy doing and I'm so grateful for the growth that I have been able to achieve in a short period of time and it's only because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful to you guys for your support. Guys, so baby is awake now and I need to finish this QA for you guys. So I'm going to have to do it with her in my hands because <laughs> I can only do this now, guys. Like I can only film this video now. And I have just like a few, few more questions to answer. So the next question is how has being a mom changed you and what do you love most about being a mom? yeah so as i was saying what i love most about being a mom is just being able to be there for my daughter and love her and um be her mom i just i love being her mom um she brings me so much joy she makes me so happy um just yeah just her existing makes me really really happy so i love being able to take care of her and being with her all day long is my favorite thing <laughs> about being her mom then um how has it changed me i think motherhood makes you more aware of your weaknesses and it also makes you more aware of your strengths so what has changed um yeah i'm more aware of my weaknesses and mostly import, most importantly also aware of my strengths and also um it teaches you a lot um about yourself i am more aware of the fact that i i didn't know i could love someone this much i didn't know you know i could i had it in me to take care of someone this well but now that i'm a mom I know that I can do that so yeah it just makes you so much aware of everything that is going on around you and more aware of um, yourself as well. Hey mama, are you okay? I was looking at the TV. Next question is how are you doing mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually? Spiritually, I'm doing okay, but it's not where I want it to be, my spiritual life. So I am working towards making it better because it can be better. 
um, motherhood um, I mean with motherhood I'm trying to adjust it making time for my walk with the Lord um, at the same time as being a good mom so I'm trying to find balance um how are you doing mentally mentally i'm in a good place right now um the first few weeks were really really hard um very very emotional um and and mixed emotions but right now i i am confident in my myself as being a mother i feel capable and i am more trusting in myself i believe in myself more so mentally i'm in a good place right now what's up mama I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. Physically, oh, your body will change, friend. Let me not lie to you. <laughs> your body will change. And um, even after you have your baby, um, you might think, like, you know, there's um, reality TV shows that we watch, the way people easily bounce back, or it seems they easily bounce back after having their babies. Reality is our bodies are different and your body might not bounce back as the same as your friend's body did and things might not look the same others will take time others won't take time others your your body will permanently change and so um physically um i'm getting there um getting trying to get to a place of acceptance and accept my new mom body it's not the same i don't look the same that I, the way i used to or at least i think <laughs> my husband assures me i i look perfectly fine but um yeah just trying to give myself a bit more grace and allow my body to adjust back because it just went through a huge huge change of having to carry this little baby for nine months to um, birthing her and now being able to take care of her it's a lot so I'm trying to give my body a bit more grace so that's how I'm doing physically then emotionally I'm good I'm a happy girl I'm a happy girl um, as I said before just like mentally the first few weeks were quite draining emotionally as well um yeah but right now i'm in a good place and um, the next question is is being a mom a first time mom stressful like most people say yeah it can get very 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 stressful um emotionally and um physically it can get stressful and mentally it can get very 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 stressful for you because you know you're yeah, trying to adjust and understand um what is going on outside of your body but then also within yourself you are trying to comprehend that okay now you're a mother and you have a whole other human being to take care of before it was just you and maybe your partner your husband but now like you you have a lot of needs to meet not only your needs you have your baby's needs and the people around you as well so yeah it can get very very stressful but um it's not forever stressful i think from what i have experienced motherhood does get easier as you go like the more that you do it the better you become at it so the more months the more weeks that go by you you learn your baby you you know why they're crying you know how to help them you know how to stop the crying you know how they behave when they're not well you know how they behave when they're hungry so you learn as you go it gets better as you go i think the next question is um in the beginning were you expecting a girl or a boy guys <laughs> fun fact i was okay with anything my husband though did want a boy when i found out it was a girl i was okay i was like okay it's a girl i was happy because i was my mind i had an open mind yeah but my husband wanted a boy but we got a girl and he loves her he's just so much in love i think he's even for that he wanted a boy <laughs> next question and final question from you guys is at what age did you get pregnant i got pregnant right after i turned 23 yeah i got pregnant right after i turned 23 so yeah i had my baby at 23 
and now i'm 24. so guys thank you so much for watching today's video please don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't um subscribed and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up before you go and turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video so yeah guys that's bye from me and i'll see you in my next one have a good one Bye bye